Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and uh, people today I'm going to talk about the Transition Manager class um, which actually provides ActionScript developers with 10 ready-made transition effects that can be applied directly onto any movie clip. The uh, 10 available transitions can be used as either an in or an out transition which means coming in or leaving the stage okay and uh, they can be further customized to suit the needs of the particular project so we can have different uh, optional parameters that we can add to in this tutorial we'll teach you how to use the uh, transition manager class in ActionScript 3 uh, okay so let's start uh, first things first I would need uh, a movie clip that I can manipulate so I'll click on the uh, rectangle tool and then keep it pressed select the old tool change the color to let's say this color and draw out a circle right let's give it uh, let's convert this to a movie clip so yeah let me delete the outline I didn't didn't need the outline actually yeah just a fill let me right click let's say convert to symbol keeping the registration point center okay <clears throat> giving it a name okay let me copy the name let's say okay and uh, give it the same instance name too which is red circle right I open up the aligns panel make sure it's aligned in the center horizontally as well as vertically so make sure the align to stage check boxes on click out here and out here so now it's perfectly in the center cool right let's save the file up let's open up the actions panel for you shortcut key is f12 people right i've already uh, imported the classes that are required to work with the, the transition manager class so import fl.transitions.star which will uh, you know get all the 10 different type of transitions working for us which are namely blinds fade fly iris photo pixel dissolve rotate squeeze wipe and zoom right and also uh, will be available to us are the six different types of easings something like strong regular bounce back e uh, elastic etc right so let's uh, start working with the fly transition type so the syntax is transition manager dot start right uh, the first thing that we need to input or supply here is the name of the movie clip which is red circle comma uh, put this bracket out here and then uh, the type of the transition that we are looking which is actually fly with a capital F right I can close the bracket up like this and let me save the file up control s cool let me hit enter people as you can see um, it comes from the left which is the default although we can change that and we'll soon see how we can do that um, it takes two seconds to come uh, where it's actually located initially so it comes from outside the stage comes in okay um, let's first uh, make it a little faster so I can uh, you know out here put the duration parameter as well let me change it from the default to to a one out here let's hit control enter see what happens so you see it's doubled up its speed cool uh, I can even change the easing to uh, something else let's say easing colon uh, strong dot ease out okay that's it so these are different uh, additional option parameters that I can supply to further customize the transition 
let me hit control enter okay let's try changing the strong to let's try elastic there are six different types of easers guys control s to save control enter to test right so that was elastic and uh, we have another kind of ease called bounce control s control enter to test the swift that's the bounce for you right uh, we have yet another uh, parameter that is optional which is called the start point now let's start point and uh, let's go with the one for the moment later on exp I'll explain what start point is so there goes okay so people this time you saw that it came from the upper left corner now let me explain what is what start point really means see let's consider this uh, rectangle now in a rectangle we have one corner out here another corner out here one out here and one out here this corresponds to start point one here this point is start point two this corner upper right corner is start point three okay out here on the left hand side we have start point four bang in the center we have start point five this is start point six this corner bottom left corner is start point seven this corner of this rectangle is start point uh, eight and this is nine right so let's see if I would want it to you know start from this corner let's see how we can actually do that so obviously the start point would change to three so if I were to save the file and test it now right so it's actually changed the uh, the corner from which it was emanating is coming from here uh, rather than here and this people uh, was start point four which is the default so if I were to default everything uh, I'll need to put four back out here let's test now exactly right okay uh, so that's start point for you uh, we have yet another optional parameter which is called the uh, direction so direction and transition dot in right so it could be either in or out so let's choose in which is also the default let's see what happens right which is again the default but if I were to replace this in with the out right this actually uh, left the stage instead of uh, coming in right so people this way we can uh, have uh, you know for further customization we can have several uh, additional optional parameters that we can apply now as I said uh, there are 10 ready-made transition effects let me show you some of them uh, other than the fly itself uh, let's try the uh, zoom <laughs> it's actually zoomed out let me just uh, reset it back to in control enter to test right and uh, we have uh, let's let's show you yet another one let's show you the fade so this should fade in now the start point obviously has no relevance out here okay let's check the blinds right and uh, the iris okay <laughs> 
or the rotate okay obviously when a circle rotates uh, you wouldn't uh, ever come to know obviously because the uh, it's a circle and the registration point is center so you wouldn't uh, see that happen let's try the vibe right there you go okay we have other transitions like pixel dissolve uh, uh, etc but then again uh, the uh, additional optional parameters uh, are slightly different for, th for, for them um, but this tutorial was mainly to tell you that these uh, different uh, 10 transitions and six easings uh, make your life so much more uh, easier uh, when uh, you're working with objects in uh, Flash and Action Script 3. I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot uh, from this tutorial. And I hope to see you very soon. Uh, okay, you have a good day, guys. Bye bye. Peace.